Tonight we're making a family favorite entree, chicken croquettes and chicken croquette bites. If you love chicken parmesan, then you'll love this tasty Italian treat. We're taking boneless, skinless chicken breast and dicing them up, mixing them with eggs, Italian breadcrumbs, Parmesan Reggiano cheese, and Italian seasonings. Then we're sauteing that in extra virgin olive oil. We'll put it in the oven with tomato sauce and top it with mozzarella cheese, fresh basil, and parsley. It's a taste of Italy in the kitchen tonight. It's going to be delicious, so stick around and we'll show you how we make it. My name is Mark Phillips. I've been in the food and beverage business for over 30 years. Throughout my career, I've had the opportunity to be in over 10,000 kitchens from around the world. Each week, I travel to a different city and get the opportunity to call on some of the most amazing chefs in the industry. The Kitchen of Chef Mark is a channel dedicated to showing you how you too can make fine dining, restaurant quality food right in your own home. We'll travel together, we'll cook together, and we'll have some fun along the way. Welcome to the Kitchen of Chef Mark. Now let's get cooking. Chicken Croquettes with Marinara Sauce. Similar to chicken parmesan, but the ingredients are mixed into the chicken instead of being put on top of the chicken. Boneless, skinless, organic chicken breast cut into dices and mixed with eggs, breadcrumbs, three cheeses, seasonings, garlic, onion, parsley, and basil. Topped with a pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, and fresh cut basil. Since the focus of our presentation tonight is how to prepare the chicken croquettes and not the sauce, we're using a ready-made sauce. But we'll have a separate video on how to make a marinara sauce from scratch very soon. Our mise en place for tonight's dish is a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, four organic boneless skinless chicken breasts sliced and diced, two organic pasture raised eggs, a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of Italian breadcrumbs for the plate, a half a cup each of Parmesan Reggiano cheese, Havarti cheese, and mozzarella cheese, two tablespoons of chopped parsley, one tablespoon each of salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, fennel seed, Italian herb seasoning, and red pepper flakes. Three cloves of fresh garlic, minced. One half yellow onion, chopped. Two tablespoons of fresh basil, rolled and chopped. And a 13 ounce jar of pizza sauce. You can also use marinara or tomato sauce. In a large bowl, crack two eggs. Using a fork or a whisk, beat the two eggs thoroughly. Add the diced chicken into the bowl of eggs, then mix the chicken and eggs together. We want to ensure that each piece of chicken gets coated with the egg. This will help the croquettes stay together when they get cooked. Add in the breadcrumbs, half of the Parmesan cheese, half of the Havarti cheese, and half of the mozzarella cheese. The seasonings, red pepper flakes, minced garlic, the onions, half of the parsley, and give everything a nice mix. Let's go ahead and get the oven ready. Turn the oven on to 425 degrees. We have enough of the chicken mix to make about a dozen croquette bites and four croquette patties. We'll start with the croquette bites first. Use a small ice cream scoop and roll the meat into a ball. This will be about the size of a golf ball. Roll the croquette bites onto a plate of breadcrumbs ensuring that the entire bite is coated with the breadcrumbs. Set the breaded croquette bites onto a cookie sheet with parchment paper. We're going to saute them in a pan of olive oil as soon as they are all breaded up and ready to go. Next, we'll work on our croquette patties. We're using a cookie cutter ring. This is optional. If you want to form your patties by hand like you do when you make hamburger patties, that is totally fine. We're using a ring in an attempt to have them perfectly round and evenly sized for our photographs. Using a tamper, we'll push the chicken mixture into the ring firmly. 
Then we'll remove the ring and voila, a nice chicken croquette patty is made. Repeat the process until all of the patties are made and then coat them in the breadcrumbs and set them onto the cookie sheet next to your croquette bites. And now we'll get our pan ready. In a large stainless steel pan, add in extra virgin olive oil and turn the heat to medium low. Remember that olive oil burns if it's too hot. The smoke point for extra virgin olive oil is only 325 degrees, so be very careful. We'll start with the patties first, although it doesn't matter which. Add the patties to the pan of olive oil and cook for three minutes on each side. Our goal here is to have a nice golden brown color with a crispy texture. One reason that we don't put everything into the pan at the same time is to ensure that the croquettes are crispy. If you crowd a pan when you're sauteing, the meat will steam instead of getting crispy. Once the croquette patties are golden brown, put them back onto your cookie sheet and leave them on the counter. Now we'll move on to the croquette bites. Check to make sure there's enough olive oil in the pan and add more if you need to. Add the croquette bites to the pan and cook them until they are golden brown. You'll need to roll them around as best that you can to ensure that all sides have olive oil on them. As soon as they are cooked, put them onto the cookie sheet and we'll get them ready for the oven. Place the croquette bites and patties into the oven and cook them for 10 minutes. Take the croquettes out of the oven and add the pizza sauce to the croquettes. Add the shredded cheese to the top of the croquettes and this time we'll put them under the broiler for about 3 minutes so that the cheese gets bubbly. Remove the croquettes from the broiler and you're ready to serve. And now it's time to plate our dish. And there it is! Chicken croquettes with marinara sauce, golden brown bites that can be served as an appetizer, and croquette patties that can be served as an entree. It's a taste of Italy in your home tonight. It was delicious! Until next time, bon appetit! <laughs>